Welcome back, uh, Canop and our partners, Canon Newsbreak. Uh, big, big merger in the industry this week as GW Pharmaceuticals was purchased in a seven billion dollar transaction. Um, it's uh, it was quite the deal. So, if those don't, who don't know GW Pharmaceuticals, they had the first FDA approved uh, drug to fight epilepsy called uh, Ep- Epidiolex or Epidiolex or however you're going to pronounce it. Um, and it's not the first deal you're going to see in the sector. Um, as you know, we talked about earlier in the week about uh, another study that came out of Bulgaria. Um, around the world, people are realizing what this plant can do. And they're understanding the medicinal benefits of this plant. Uh, and here's the interesting thing. And this goes to something we've been talking about for quite some time. Cannabis in the U.S. is a Schedule One narcotic. And alongside heroin cocaine, methamphetamine, et cetera, et cetera. One of the three prongs, and for those of you who have listened to us for any length of any time, you've probably heard us talking about this, but I'm going to say it again. Uh, the three prongs for a drug to be classified there is that it's highly addictive, like heroin and cocaine. We know there's no physically addictive properties of cannabis. Um, it is. Um, it has no medical use, which we'll get to in a second. And the third prong is that you, it's lethal. You can overdose from it. Well, there's never been a recorded case of cannabis overdose uh, in the U.S. or Canada for any, that's anyone's been able to find. So let's go back to the second one. There's one of the three prongs that there can be no medical use for the product. Well, that's kind of odd because the FDA has approved a drug, cannabis-based drug to fight epilepsy. And, and for those who've ever seen uh, these kids with this epilepsy is called Dravet syndrome, D-R-A-V-E-T. They basically have many seizures all day long. Um, it's typically fatal because the human body just can't sustain, you know, 100 to 200 mini seizures a day or a week uh, for any long period of time. Traditional treatment is to basically give these kid pharmaceuticals that basically turn them comatose, right? In order to stop the seizures, they basically turn these kids comatose with this medicine. Zero quality of life whatsoever. Same kids... Same issue. You give them the Epidiolex treatment, within minutes they're running around playing like a normal child. So not only does it stop the seizures, and the seizures go from, you know, 100 to 200 a week to one or two a week, rather than sedate these kids to the point where they're just like a couch pillow, they actually have a quality of life. So that's that's an amazing thing, and it saves these kids' lives in many cases. So you have proven... The FDA accepts that cannabis-related drugs have medical benefits. The U.S. government holds patents on Marinol and synthetic forms of cannabis to treat uh, anorexia and cancer patients uh, for the effects of um, chemotherapy. The SEC has sanctioned a company in the U.S. that sells cannabis-related drugs, and the Justice Department will approve a merger of two companies that will now sell cannabis-based drugs. But the drug remains a Schedule One narcotic. The, the the hypocrisy and the level of just complete nonsense that this whole thing is is amazing. The fact that it's still a Schedule One narcotic when every federal agency recognizes its health benefits and its importance and legalizes the transaction of these two companies, but it still develops there. It still is there is crazy. Um, global cannabis spells in twenty twenty. Cannabis sales in 2020 are expected to reach about $20 billion, uh, about 30% increase of 2019 sales of $15 billion. Uh, I'll go right ahead and say right now it'll be over $20 billion this year. Um, we've said this before many times. Every estimate you see for the cannabis space when you go out more than a year is too low, and they're going to remain too low. The, the growth is, is, you know, when you're talking 30 35 40% growth a year, in something, uh, this is picking up. It's not slowing down. So as more states legalize, as New Jersey comes on, as the other states that legalized in the last election, Arizona come on and start producing sales, you're going to see massive jumps in cannabis sales. And I'm telling you right now, as this health benefits of this plant become more apparent and become more accepted and people put away their past prejudices of the plant that were really informed on no factual evidence whatsoever. And that's an important thing. People think what they think about this plant based on zero facts. 
There are no facts to, to no facts whatsoever to back the claim that cannabis is a gateway drug. None whatsoever. There are no facts to say that cannabis gives brain damage. In fact, recent studies are saying cannabis is helpful to Alzheimer patients and those suffering from dementia. So everything that people who believe about cannabis that was negative was not based on any facts whatsoever. And and as that reality sinks into the American public, the increase you see in cannabis sales, they're gonna they're just gonna skyrocket even more. So um, I'm telling you right now, I'll make a prediction. It's February one. We will see, we will see in excess of twenty billion dollars in global cannabis sales in 2020 easily, probably by October. So let's keep an eye on that and see if I'm right or see if I'm wrong. So, thanks for joining in, and we'll see you next time.